German police have responded to Sir Mo Farah's claims he suffered racial harassment while passing through security at Munich airport and have said the athlete was filming illegally. Farah posted a 47-second clip to his social media accounts in which he filmed his exchange with a police officer. Describing his treatment during security checks as pure harassment and unbelievable. He captioned the video sad to see racial harassment in this day and age 2018 in the video. A police officer can be seen grabbing hold of Farah's arm and pushing him in the direction of the departure gates. But the German federal police have said the security checks were routine and that Farah was moved on by the officer because he was blocking the area and filming in an area of the airport where it was not permitted. They say there was no indication of racial harassment by the federal police officer at all in a statement issued to Mail Online. A spokesman for the German police said on the way to his flight Sir Mo Farah had to pass the security check in Terminal 2 at Munich Airport. Security checks at Munich Airport are carried out by a private security company on behalf of the state of Bavaria. It seems that Sir Mo Farah did not agree with this passenger security check performed on him and blamed this check a racist measure. Obviously he was very upset as Farah didn't want to leave the security checkpoint. Security staff asked the federal police officer seen in the video for support. In cooperation with the security staff's supervisor the officer tried to explain this routine measure to Sir Mo Farah and to calm him down. Unfortunately that didn't work. Then the officer asked him to leave the security checkpoint because he was blocking the area. Farah got more and more upset. He continued arguing and blaming security staff and the federal police officer of being racist at that point. Farah started filming the sensible security checkpoint area which is now allowed. The officer asked him to stop recording. As Farah ignored this police order the officer asked him to leave the security control area and proceed to his departure gate. Farah persistently ignored this second police order so the officer slightly touched him and tried to direct him away from the security checkpoint area to the shopping and gate section what you can see in the video. Finally, the federal police officer was properly carrying out his duty. I cannot see any indications of racial harassment by the federal police officer at all. Farah was passing through Munich airport as he returned to his training camp in Ethiopia. The clip begins with Farah apparently describing an unpleasant experience as he passed through security. Farah says you won't believe what has just happened and that he complained to the manager to no avail. He adds, the guys were touching me up like crazy. Pure harassment. Pure, pure harassment. The police officer then walks up to Farah and begins to escort him away in the direction of the departure gates. Farah says, you don't need to push me, I'll go to the gates, you can't touch me, stop pushing me, to that. The officer replies, I can touch you, go to the gate, go to the gate, as he turns Farah around with a firm hand on his right arm. The athlete says, leave me alone and you're on Instagram live. The policeman replies, I don't care before walking away from Farah. Farah ends the clip by saying, the way I was getting treated was ridiculous. You see all that guys? Unbelievable. Farah's legion of social media followers left supportive comments after the video was uploaded. One wrote, I love the way you handled it like a true champion. Another said, sorry Mo. No one deserves that experience, you personally handled that so well. This is one more reason why you're a role model to so many. Some replies on Twitter questioned whether Farah had been the victim of racial harassment. One user wrote, I see harassment Mo. But I don't see any racial element while another said, where was the racism? But other users took issue with this. One wrote, comments here are rather sad, black people constantly told I didn't see any racism, it exists folk, even if you've not witnessed. Sad but true, Mo isn't the kind of chap to fabricate or imagine, another added, he explained the racial incident happened. Before he started recording hence why he started recording, Farah edged out Kenyan Daniel Wanjiru in a sprint finish to win the inaugural big half race in London. He is currently preparing to run the London Marathon next month and become the first British male winner since 1993, a spokesperson for Mo Farah said, this afternoon. There was an incident at a German airport whilst Mo was traveling back to his training camp in Ethiopia. Mo felt that the incident was racially motivated and that he was unfairly treated by the airport security staff. This is not the first time Sir Mo has been the victim of alleged racism in Christmas. 
He was attacked by racist trolls online after he posted a message of Christmas goodwill for his followers on Instagram. The middle distance runner who has more than 660,000 followers on Instagram posted a selfie of him wearing a Santa hat wishing a Merry Christmas. Sir Mo, who is a practicing Muslim, was criticized by fellow Muslims for mentioning the Christian festival on his social media feed. Sir Mo Farah quit track athletics last year to focus on marathons after a star-studded career that made him one of the most successful British athletes of all time. The father of four first burst onto the scene in 2011 with a gold in the 5000M at the World Championships in Daegu, South Korea. In 2013, he bagged a double gold in the two events at the Moscow World Championships. The same feat was repeated at the World Championships in Beijing two years later and again at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. But undoubtedly Sir Mo's most memorable triumphs were his two golds in the 10,000M and 5,000M on home soil during London 2012. When his famous Mobot gesture first graced television screens, it was quite a journey for Sir Mo, who arrived in Britain from Somalia at the age of eight with little English and first competed as a schoolboy runner in 1996. Farah told in his autobiography about an encounter with another boy shortly after arriving in England as an eight-year-old. From Somalia when he tried out of the few English phrases he knew come on then, he ended that day with a black eye and the respected of his classmates. Everyone knew about the crazy Somali kid who picked a fight with the hardest kid on his first day of school, Farah wrote. They knew I wasn't weak, and it has not all been plain sailing for the Briton. He has also had to cope with the impact of serious allegations against his coach. Alberto Salazar Salazar is currently under investigation by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency and denies all wrongdoing. Sir Mo's final major track race was the 5000M race at the World Athletics Championship in London, in which he came second. Reflecting on his track career before the race, Sir Mo said, To have achieved what I have achieved has been incredible. I don't think there is enough words to explain the journey and everything, but you have to appreciate what you have and do the best that I can. That's what I was taught in my early years, appreciate it, yeah it is emotional but it has been a long career. You guys have seen me since I was a child, running around, going to the English schools, to come this far has been incredible, in September 2016. It was claimed Farah's wife Tina launched a foul-mouthed tirade at an airline worker when the family were told to wait with economy passengers after they missed first-class boarding on a flight back from Rio. Tina said that the Olympic hero was humiliated after the flight attendant singled him out and forced him to go to the back of the queue because she didn't recognize he had a business-class ticket. Tanya told the Sunday Telegraph at the time, this woman basically humiliated him until people came forward and said, that's Mo Farah. The Olympic champion she was mortified afterwards, but had basically yelled at him like he was a piece of s to get back into line. He was the only black person in the queue and hadn't done anything to warrant it. I just knew she had a problem with him earlier this week. A report by the Digital Culture, Media and Sport DCMS Select Committee said it was shocked Farah received an injection of the legal supplement L-carnitine to help performance before the 2014 London Marathon that was not recorded on his medical records.